The University of Arkansas Libraries Special Collections holds a wide range of manuscript collections and published works that can enhance your research projects. In addition to collections used in our reading room, Special Collections offers access to many materials online through the library's digital collections. This video is part of our Using Digital Collections series, which provides information on how to navigate and use digital collections over the course of your research. This video will focus on Rising Above, Rower Reconstructed, a digital project that documents the Rower War Relocation Camp, one of two Japanese internment camps located in Arkansas during World War II. From 1942 to 1946, about 8,000 Japanese Americans were involuntarily confined to this camp. Only the camp cemetery and traces of a building or two remain on the site. This digital project was undertaken to help preserve the history of Rower and enable research on this topic. It was made possible by the Japanese American Confinement Sites Grant Program and includes the following partners, the University of Arkansas in Fayetteville, the Butler Center for Arkansas Studies, the University of Arkansas Little Rock Center for Arkansas History and Culture, the Arkansas State Archives in Little Rock, and Arkansas State University in Jonesboro. Rower Reconstructed includes four components, a digital archive of materials from partner institutions, an interactive timeline, a series of interactive maps, and a 3D visual reconstruction of one of the residential barracks blocks as it might have appeared in the later years of the camp. This video will focus primarily on accessing the archival materials that are a part of this digital project. You can access the archival materials from the home page either by selecting Archive in the top right menu or by clicking on the box icon in the center of the home page. This will take you to a listing of all archival materials, a total of 1,337 individual items. As you can see, there are a wide range of materials available in the digital archive, including artwork, objects, photos, and more. However, scrolling through all 1,337 items might not be the most effective research method and will take quite a bit of time. While you can search all items using the search bar, there are a number of ways you can limit your search and narrow the number of items you'd like to review. One way to do this is to select the Filters button. This button will allow you to limit your search by date, by item type, by individual's name, and by collection. You can also select specific topic areas, internment camps, or type of license that materials are licensed under. The license may be important to you if you want to be able to remix and redistribute your research, for example, in an open source textbook. Let's try an example search using the filters feature. I'm going to limit my date range to the time period when the camp was in operation, so I'll say January 1942 to December 1945. I'm also going to limit this search specifically to Rower. This gave me 838 items. While this is substantially fewer items to look through, I'm going to go back in and adjust my search a bit more. Let's say I'm specifically interested in items that interned individuals produced during their time at Rower. So I'm going to select some specific material types, including artwork, camp printed ephemera, publications, and yearbooks. This gives me 356 results, and I could continue to further limit my search if I wanted to. Now let's look at an item. When you click on an item in this project, it will give you some standardized information, regardless of what type of item you select. When I click on this painting, I can see the artist's name, the date it was produced, and the topics under which it has been categorized. I also get a brief description of the physical object. I'm given licensing information, so I know how the item can be used, and I also see some information I'll need to use in my citation of this item in my research. Clicking on the hyperlink text in blue would link me to any other materials included in the collection that are by that individual, come from a specific camp, fall under a specific license, or are from a particular archival collection. For example, clicking here takes me to all materials from this collection at the Butler Center for Arkansas Studies. 
Research isn't a linear process, so you may need to adjust your search filters multiple times to find the materials you are looking for. For more information about this digital project, please visit risingabove.cast.uark.edu.